Hello everyone. I thought I'd uh, take this time to review the Dapol Black Label A4. I decided to go for the Bittern model, um, of which the sound for this locomotive was actually recorded from as well. So that's the one I decided on. Um, to those of you thinking maybe about getting one of these, um, I'll just point out a couple of things. If you're bothered about prototypicalness and all that sort of stuff, um, this model does have the valances on the side of the locomotive, which were removed um, during World War Two and never replaced. So, yeah, if you're gonna, if you're sort of wanting to run something this prototypically, and your layout set after World War Two, you might want to wait for the later one. Also, it's also got the single chimney rather than the double chimney, um, and I think the double chimneys were put on in the 50s. So, again, if you're bothered about that kind of stuff, my layout's going to be probably 30s, so it's absolutely fine. Um, I'll just show you what's in the box before we get it out. Of that. Um, Warning stuff about stuff that's in there. Um, a bit of information here. Um, 24 months repair warranty. That's really good. Certificate. Yeah, number 60 of 320. I think they've made 320 of each of them apart from the Mallard, which I think is either 500 or 1000, I can't remember, but yeah. I'm sure at this price there's quite a few left. Um, owner's manual. Now, this is a pretty hefty uh, manual, really. Um, all, this, all the sound functions. Um, all, there. all about smoke and all that sort of stuff. Quite a lot of uh, information, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of information. A lot more than sort of a normal manual. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. I've not actually have, had a read of it yet, so um, I'll have to when setting it all up. But um, yeah, it's quite a nice little thing they've done is uh, showing you where to fit all the accessory parts. So that's that's pretty cool. So let's have a look under under the phone, shall we? That's what's in the box. I've still got spares and a spare. I think it's a spare tornado cover. It, yes, because there's one already on it there. You see. Um, so if you lose one, there's one spare there. So that's good. Um, two lots of smoke fluid. Low odor and just a normal one. Uh, this is the other, I think it's called a Cartesia floating truck or something. Um, basically, if you've got, you've got one for, if you've got tight radius curves, um, which I think is below radius 3. Um, and then you've got the other one that's already on it, which, um, so if you've got more generous curves, so it's a nice little addition. Uh, tiny little funnel for the fluid. You get spare driving wheels. Uh, these are for um, if you want traction tyres on the locomotive. Um, 
it, the loco itself is die cast, so I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be weighty enough to pull anything, but it's a nice little option. Can't see me using those, I don't like tracks and tyres at all. But, yep, yeah, there we go. And then the locomotive itself, which I'll, uh, I'll unpack and get out and set up on the track and let you have a little look. I've, I've still not got a full loop, so I can't really run it in properly, but we'll give it a little quick go and see, see what it's like, shall we? So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so there we have it, all out on the uh, track. Um, it's pretty nicely detailed, actually. Um, obviously sprung buffers, um, illuminated lights at the front, which look pretty good, although you can, if you look really closely, you can just see the wire under there, um, but only if you like really, really look closely, but I suppose that can't be helped anyway. Um, There's another lamp thing there, separately fitted. Uh, we've sort of got a hole there off for um, extra smoke to come out from, sort of like, to give the impression it's coming out from the whistle. Um, from what I've seen on the video so far, it just seems to just come out there all the time, which should be a bit rubbish if that's the case, but no oh well. Um, moving, a, moving it along a bit. Handrail is separately fitted. Um, you can just sort of see all the all the all of the detail. Obviously the, the tornado cover there. And it just absolutely looks fantastic. Um, the the cab uh, ventilator thing. Um, does it open or does it not open? That's the question. Um, and the answer is yes, it does open. They do open and close. See? Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. Bear with me one minute. Okay, so as you can sort of see, they are. You can do open and you can do close as well. So that's pr that's pretty cool. Um, cab detail. It's pretty good. You can just sort of make it out there. Um, I'll say tension lock up in there. I, think that, I do believe that is an NEM, so that'll get swapped something a bit better. Um, at the front there. All right, it looks uh, looks really nice. Right, I'm gonna fire it up and uh, see if we can get something moving, shall we? Okay, I'm uh, not going to bother um, playing all the sounds for you because I think you kind of guess what most of them are anyway. But I'll. I'll, uh, I'll 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 play some and see see what we uh, and give it a little bit of a run and see what happens. Let's see. How. What you will notice when it's coal shoveling, there is a, f a firebox getting focus. A little firebox below that you can sort of see. Yeah, there. Which is pretty cool. 
pretty cool. Right. I'm going to give it a run because the smoke is not looking brilliant when it's sat down doing nothing. So here we go. So about the bad camera work, I'm just having to uh, control the train via the PC at the same time. Today for 239 tons. Thank you. Yeah, so overall it's a uh, really nice model and I'm very pleased with it. Um, yeah, it's quite expensive for, for what it is, but um, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah. Hopefully, eventually I'll get some carriages to run behind it once I actually get the layout uh, sorted. But um, for now, for now, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm very happy with that. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, smoke as well. Um, it doesn't actually look too bad actually once it's running. I think when they sat there just you know at a station it, it doesn't look particularly brilliant um, and it's very difficult to replicate smoke in, in scale form anyway um, but when it's running and a, a bit of speed it actually looks really good actually um, so yeah very very happy with it very happy so that's all for now hopefully I'll uh, get another video up soon with the uh, trap plans and stuff um, so yeah, thanks for watching, bye for now.